friends, happy new year and welcome back. So this is my Dillard's crazy experience for the New Year's Day sale. Now, I know that Dillard's has this sale every year on New Year's Day. However, I have never been because normally on New Year's Day, like back in the day, day, not anymore. Um, let's just say I used to be really, really sick and I could not get up. But those days are over and now um, I'm able to get up and so me and hubby like just chilled last night and I actually fell asleep before the countdown and then I woke up because you know as a mom we can't go to sleep until our kids get home my son turned 18 and just you know how that goes so anywho woke up this morning and remember I did the Dillard's video yesterday and I was showing you guys what was in the store and there was two things that I wanted tennis shoes and a Kate Spade sunglasses and so I had bumped into my husband's co-worker yesterday in Dillard's and she told me that the sales start at 10 and she was like, you have to come by 9 because um, it's going to be packed and I was like, oh, okay, so hubby woke me up at 9, he's like, babe, you need to get up, it's 9 and I was like, oh, I got time, the mall's less than 10 minutes away from me. Boy, was I wrong, okay, I was wrong. So, I got online and I was looking and researching and I was like why is this such a big deal let me tell you that I saw some pictures of another state where people were like in line in Dillard's they had not opened yet but they had let these people in the store to go in line and that line was like 200 people deep just to ask for shoes when I say I jumped up and I got ready I jumped up and I got ready so I get to the mall and there's like um, the parking lot's not full, but uh, they they weren't letting anybody in the store. They had not like lifted the gates, but everybody was waiting for the store to open and waiting for the doors to open. And it was about I would say 70 to 100 people outside. And so I'm like, okay. So I call my husband's friend, um, and I was like, are you coming? Because I'm in front. Come get in line with me. And she's like, I'm almost there. So she gets there and so everybody was telling me like it's crazy. I was like, is this like Black Friday? And they were like, this is worse than Black Friday. They were right. So we waited about 25 minutes and then they opened the door. So when we go in, we go in the store and I see people running and I'm like, okay, uh, am I supposed to run? Cause I'm not about to run, but I was like walking fast. So. I get to the table where the shoes are, but I just see people like pulling stuff. The boxes of the um, cologne that they had on sale, what is it called? Lamb, lamb something, I don't know, I've never worn that so I don't know what it is. Those boxes of colognes were on sale, I mean the shelf was this high but when I was passing it, I mean they were just going, I mean it was gone and I was like, I wish that I could have recorded this madness because it was insane. So remember yesterday in the video I showed you the table that had all of these Michael Kors and coach purses. Now had there been this one coach purse there that was left, um, because I didn't want a purse but I would have purchased this little small one they had. I would have gotten it for Ava and given it to her for her birthday because Ava wears crossbody purses but it wasn't a big deal to me to get the purse. I wanted the tennis shoes. So um, I saw everybody there. I'm at the shoe because shoes are over here purses are over here the shoe count is crazy I was like oh my gosh I woke up I gotta get these shoes so I wear eight and a half so I see an eight and a half and I grab the box and um, people were just like taking boxes they didn't care like what size shoes they were so I grabbed the box and I, I'm not knowing I'm like okay I don't know what shoe is in this box so I'm like I'm just gonna get it because I need these shoes um, for something that I'm going to be doing coming up soon. So I was like, I need, I have to have tennis shoes. So I got these and I was like, okay, they'll work. They're just tennis shoes. I'm not a big tennis shoe wearer. I kind of like Converse and Adidas. So, but as far as like Nikes and Jordans and all that, that's not me. So um, I was like, okay, these will work. And the price of these were $73.70, but there's an additional, the regular price of these shoes is $110, but there's a pink sticker on here 
and this pink sticker price is $73.70 but there's an additional 50% off of that price which makes these shoes like around $38 which is a really good price so I'm like okay these will work so then I look and there's another eight and a half so I was like well I'll just get that box too because I'm basically gonna get two pairs of shoes for the price of one pair on sale so then I grab the next box and I look and bam it was the shoe that I wanted yesterday that I picked up I was like score it is my lucky day like I was just so happy when I saw these okay I was at the shoe counter because I didn't have to ask anyone to get them you know they're just stacked on the table I was there for less than 45 seconds no lie 45 seconds I turn around when I turn around when I tell you the purses all I saw was a black tablecloth they were gone there had to at least be a hundred purses on that table people were just taking the purses I was just like oh my gosh like this is insane this was worse than Black Friday, but it wasn't any fighting or anything like that. It was just crazy. So I was like, okay, well now I'm happy. I got the shoes that I really, really wanted, okay? I had to have these shoes as soon as I saw them yesterday. So the price of these were the same, $73.70, an additional 50% off that price. So I'm like, okay, now let me get over to the sunglasses because I gotta have these Kate Spade sunglasses I've never paid like more than like $9.99 for some sunglasses but when I saw these yesterday I had to have them so I was like okay they're on this little display right here I'm just gonna move them and put them on this little display in the back tell me why when I got there they were gone I was like so people come in here for Kate Spade sunglasses I thought the popular thing were the purses no those glasses were gone and I was like ah oh. Okay, no biggie. So I'm like looking to see if I see them. There was only like maybe 40 or 50 pair of sunglasses that were on clearance anyways. But this guy picked up these sunglasses and then his wife was like, no, those are too big. When I heard too big and he put them back down, I was like, excuse me, sir, can I have those? Bam, look at this right here. Kate Spade. The ones yesterday were brown. These are black. I was like that's it yes yes thank you new year's day i was blessed with the deals that i wanted to get i was like i could not believe that the glasses were there so these k spade glasses sunglasses are regular price at 175 dollars i got them for 43 dollars 43 dollars yes this is my christmas present okay I just, I'm just, I'm, I don't know, I'm just filling these glasses. I'm a big sunglass wearer because my eyes are very sensitive to the sun and to the light. So if I'm outside, my eyes will like start doing like this and my eyes will start watering if I don't have sunglasses on. And they also come with this little cute Kate Spade um, sunglass case. However, they still gave it to me, but it. Um, they asked me if I still wanted it, but because these glasses are oversized, they don't fit in here, but I still wanted the little case anyway. She was like, we can still give it to you, so I'll just find another case to put these in, but I was just so excited about these sunglasses, so I was like, I'm happy. So the funny thing is, so when I came back home, I had to tell my husband, and I got some more stuff I'm going to show y'all. So I get my sunglasses right, and then... I'm looking and I see this man next to me. This guy had to be about 70 years old. And this guy had three or four coach purses. Okay, the one one of them was one of the ones that I would have purchased. And I just started laughing because I was like, really? Like he came here early and he didn't have anybody with him. Like he wasn't like holding like he wasn't holding them for his wife or anybody. He just had the purses and he was going in line to pay. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this is like crazy. And like he was just looking at the purses. So I don't know. I just thought it was so funny. Like I, I think I, he had to be like 70. I was like, I guess he knows style and he knows fashion because he bought his I think he had four, three or four coach purses. And those purses there were $200, so it will be 50% off of that, so they were $100. So they were the ones that I was showing you yesterday. So they were super, super cute. So um, I, it was just crazy. So then 
I walk back, I bumped into my friend again, and um, I go back. This is the part that's like, I don't know, I guess you, the early bird gets the worm, right? So I go back passing the shoe section. I see this guy. He had a stack of shoes. I am not kidding. Up to here. You know like if you're trying on shoes and they have the mirror, you kind of lean up against the wall. He had the shoes like stacked that high. And he had about 12 purses. And I was like, I told him, I was like, you are you didn't come to play. And he was like, it ain't me, it's these women. And I was like, oh my gosh. So, um, they were limiting people. Like, you can only buy, like, so many purses. But, like, people were like, there was, like, this girl. I felt bad for her. When I was looking at the purses and I was recording yesterday, she had to be, like, maybe 17 or 18. And she was with her dad and her sister and her mom. And she was like, Dad, this is the purse I want. I want this purse right here. And I was telling her that, oh, yeah, tomorrow they're going to be 50% off of this price. And her dad was like, oh, okay, we'll come. So I ended up seeing them again today. And she and I go, oh, did you get the purse? And she was like, no, they were all gone. I felt bad because people were taking, like, 10 and 12 purses. And that guy that had all the shoes had all of those purses. And I was like, man, she really wanted that purse. I felt bad. I wish... If I would have had one, I would have given it to her. Like, I would have said, you know what? You can just take this one. I really, I felt bad for her. So the guy that had all the shoes, so um, my friend was telling me, she saw them. They were just taking all of these boxes of shoes. They weren't looking at the sizes. They were just taking them. So the crazy thing was, is when we walked right back past them, all the shoes that they had in their basket and their in their boxes did not match. Like... It, they would have like two left shoes in there and some of them the sizes were wrong and I guess because some of them were on the display so they had taken all of the boxes but the shoes were not matching and I was like I was like I got my shoes I'm good to go but yeah so that was that story but I got my shoes both of my sizes match I was only in there to get one pair of shoes but I lucked out and I got two and I got the sunglasses so I was like now let me go to, um, selfishly, I was only shopping for myself and not my kids, and I was shopping for daddy. So I went upstairs to the junior section because I still shop in the junior section. Oh, wait. First, let me show you this. Oh, wait. Hold on. So I stopped in the lingerie section, and not that I wanted lingerie, but the bras were on sale. I feel really weird showing y'all this, but I need to tell y'all, you know, because you might want to go to dealers and buy this. I don't know if they still have this price, but anyways, so I'm heavy up here, and um, my I my size I'm I'm a triple D, but my, I have to get the sister size, which is a double D, and no, a 34D. I'm a whatever. I'm big size. So this was 39.99. Now I can only buy them from Victoria's Secret. Um, it has to be Victoria's Secret. I can't buy a bra from anywhere else, but they're so expensive So I only buy them like once or twice a year and I have like five of them and they last and I also have like the sports bra kind Those are very comfortable for me. So I saw this and I was like, okay I'm gonna buy it, but I really hope that it fits when I got home and tried this on I was like Oh my gosh, like I wish I would have purchased two of them so this was $39.99, but it was half off, so it was like $19 something. So the brand is Spanx, and it um, it just fits so good. It's just like awesome. It feels good, and there's like no tags on it, like in the back back here. It it's I don't know what you call it, kind of like I don't know what you call it, but it's similar. It's very similar to Victoria's Secret. Because I have three like this that are from Victoria's Secret. But this, I definitely would recommend this if you guys are looking for a good bra. If you want to just try Dillard's. I don't know what time they close. And I don't know what time this video is going to be uploaded. But if you want to check them tomorrow or if you don't want to pay what Victoria's Secret costs. Definitely look into getting the Spanx brand. Because like I said, when I tried this on, I was like, yes. I will definitely be looking at Dillard's more often to buy these versus going to Victoria's Secret if they have a better price because this, I just, it was an amazing fit and if you're like me, it has to fit perfect in the wires, like it has to 
fit perfect or I'm just uncomfortable and I just can't be uncomfortable like that. So next up, I went to the junior section and I saw this dress. This dress is so pretty. I tried it on. It is like one of the wrap dresses. So it's not long. It probably comes like to my knees, but it kind of like opens up. Let me show y'all. It kind of opens like a rope. Here, let me just do like a little try on with this on, uh, with my shirt on. Uh, and show you how it fits. Hubby really liked it when I put it up. So it's a dress like this. And then there's a little button and it's a little open right here. And it was just like, it was perfect, like beautiful. I just, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I hope it's my size because it was the only one that they had. And the price was $20.65. So 50% off of that. This dress was $10.30. $10.30 regular price at $59 okay like I was just like from now on every year I will be at Dillard's because I could not believe the prices like it was crazy and I know some of you were telling me that um, you go there like every single year but I was like I've just never like been like into going to the mall like I've done like you know drugstore shopping but not going to the mall on New Year's Day so then I picked up another dress. I have to go to a wedding in April, so I was kind of looking for another dress, but I just lucked out with so many dresses. This dress is super cute. It um, just has like a little zip at the top, a little zipper. You can either leave it undone. It's sleeveless. Again, it comes like right above my knees. It has a super cute like little belt thing. And it's just really cute. I thought, okay, if it doesn't fit me, it'll at least fit Ava. But navy blue, it's just really cute. This was $41.40, so it was half of that, so it was $20 and something. But this regular price was, I don't know, it's, I don't know. I don't know what the regular price is, but it had to be at least $80 to $90 because um, the tag's covered up and I can't really see it. But if it went on sale for $40, before the additional 50% off, it had to at least be more than that. So the brand is San Francisco LN. Never heard of it. Excuse me, I had to sneeze. Um, I've never heard of this brand, but again, very beautiful dress. Next up, now this one, I'm kind of sad. I wish I would have got a small, but it's a medium, but I'll make it work. Um, this is like a little tunic dress. I really, really like tunic style dresses. It's black, it has lace on the outside, and it has like the nude um, color on the inside. Um, it does fit a little bit big. I could have got away with the small, but sometimes in certain things I'm a large, but and I always have to get large because of the chest. But this one was like a little big, but I'm going to make it work. Uh, this was regular price at $69. It was on sale for $24.15. I got it for an additional 50% off of that. So this was $12. So again, super amazing. The brand is Jody Christopher, if you guys have ever heard of that. But a $12 beautiful dress like this, I just love it. So then I wandered on over to the men's section and picked Hubby up a whole bunch of polo. So we got a long sleeve polo shirt. This shirt was $17. And it was regular price at... I think like 90 bucks. I got it for $17. He tried it on and loves it. So just a long sleeve green polo. Then I picked him up another polo shirt. This one is just white long sleeve. I was like hoping that he would like it because he's very picky and I'm very bad at shopping for him but he loved everything. This was on sale for $53.70. I got it for half of that, which was like $20 something dollars. So regular price $89.50 for $23 is amazing. So this is what he really wanted were the sweater type shirts to go over the collar shirts. So these were only 50% off. There wasn't an additional 50% off. 
So these are regularly $98. So they come to about $110 plus tax. But today they were 50% off. So these were $49 something. So I picked him up two of these because again, he's wanted these for a while and we balls on a budget. I try to find a deal. So if it were up to him, he'd pay the $100. We don't do that. So yes, I bought him two of these. So a black one and the other one is blue, like a navy blue. And he was very happy. So he really liked the colors that I picked. And again, the same thing. This was only 50% off. There was no additional 50% off. So that was that. And then I like this. When I first showed it to him, he was like, I don't really like it. And I was like, okay, I'll go return it because I don't want you to keep it because it said that there's a three-day return on things that are an additional 50% off. So this was a sale item. This was $69. Additional 50% off made it $30, $35, somewhere around there, right? Yeah. So I just really like this polo shirt and the sleeves already rolled up whenever he wears his dress shirts he always rolls them up anyways so i just thought that this was a really really cute shirt and again regular price 89.50 and we got it for 30 something dollars really good deal and last but not least i really like this for him i called him i was like if i buy you this sweater will you wear it it has a zipper and he was like yeah because he doesn't really wear jackets um i don't even know if he owns a jacket uh, he wears like sleeveless like hoodies like he just doesn't wear like big jackets and again it's usually not that cold sometimes it is but he'll just wear long sleeve but I was like no I want you to have like some type of jacket so this is again another polo like sweater and you can unzip it and that's how he'll wear it unzipped it was on um, clearance for $59.10 there was an additional 50% off, so it was 30 bucks. So really, really good deal for polo, especially for it being like a jacket. Regular price, $98.50. So amazing, amazing deals. I'm so happy that I went to Dillard's. Um, I, it's funny that I went yesterday, I was looking for him for this cologne that he likes. So I was like, let me go to the mall and check Dillard's to see their price before I buy it at this other store and when I bumped into his co-worker and she was like so she was like don't forget tomorrow's the big sale and she was like I just came to scope my stuff out and see what I'm gonna get so I'm really happy that I went into there yesterday and like kind of like looked around at some stuff because it ended up being a really good trip daddy got a ton of clothes because he's always looking for something to wear and I got some dresses I'm so excited about everything I purchased. It was like all really good fits and I got like really good prices. So um, if this video is too late for you guys to go check Dillard's at your store in your area, definitely think about going next year because at least now you have a heads up of, at knowing like the prices and um, I don't think it's online. I'm not 100% sure if anybody's wondering if, the, if you can purchase online as well. I'm not 100% sure, but um, you can always look online to check. But yeah, I just thought I would share this so you guys would know um, if you wanted to go next year. It was it was really fun. I just laughed so hard. I, it was just crazy, but nobody got hurt. They had a lot of cops in there because I guess some people steal. That's what the um, sales lady was telling me. But they had cops at every door, and I know their camera, cameras were on like a million, so... That is it. Um, it was a pleasant experience. It was definitely an experience, um, but it was worth it, and I'll definitely do it again next year. So I just wanted to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and this little haul and me sharing what I bought with you. And I think that's it, guys. At some point, I'm going to make it to CVS, and I'll get that video uploaded. But again, Happy New Year. Thank you so much for watching. I love you to the moon and back, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.